Yes! We're back with the Freddy Fish. <laughs> Ma'am? Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. It is a little I'm fishy. At least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. <laughs> uh, sure, Luther, whatever you say, man. Freddy Fish in the case of the Hogfish Wrestlers of Barani Gulch. Uh, 1999. So, yes. Uh, hey, everybody, it's me, Karazu Nuchita. And. I said that before. Sorry about that. But I'm back with more humongous entertainment games, or at least a game. Um, I don't want to play all of them like in a huge chunk because then I won't have them. To There's play Kevin again. Calico's ranch. I'm raring to go. As I was saying, I won't have them to play later on when I might just want something like nostalgic and childhood-ish. I I still have a bunch of old childhood games like in, in disc form here, but. To town one day, fresh from Napoli Bay, rode a mean looking fish with a name I can't say. His face, which was dark, had the eyes of a shark, and his bite, I hear tell, was much worse than his bark. That's because he was a trigger fish with jaws of steel. Now, I don't mind saying this made us all a little bit nervous, and we kept our distance from this worrisome stranger. So when he asked for one of us simple folk to swim up close and give him a good scratch, you bet we all turned tail and swam for the hills. Seems the guy had a patch he couldn't quite scratch. He just wanted some help and there wasn't a catch. As he swam off, I wish that we hadn't all ditched, but no one dared get near. The itchy trigger fish. All right, that was interesting. Yes, I see. I see your hat bobbing up and down. All right, so I'm guessing we're going over here to this lovely-looking lady. Hi, cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. All right. And this is a game that I did not play all that much out of the Freddy Fish games, which, I mean, I love me some Freddy Fish, but I never really played this one all that much. I mainly uh, played, like... The first couple of them. Did you see the wrestlers who took your hogfish, Cousin Calico? No, but you might ask some of the folks in town. Maybe they saw something. Okay, but no, I mainly played like the first couple of them. Like, I remember uh, the stolen conch shell a lot, and I remember the haunted school one a lot. But I never really got into this one for some reason. I think it's because. I might have gotten it later on. I mean, sure, it's 1999, but it's not like, you know, like early enough for me to have had it straight away. I probably had it um, when I was a little bit older. Ooh, purple sea urchin. Look, Freddy, a purple sea urchin. Awesome. We're rich. 
I just can't remember exactly when I would have gotten it. Um, I think at this point, though, I was already playing, like, Nancy Drew games and stuff, which is why I didn't play this all that much. <laughs> Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side. I usually try to work my way Customers! around. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. I don't believe him. You guys believe him? I don't believe him. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. Half Nelson. That's how I name what things. What are these plants? Bad. No, oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. No, oh, they're very popular. Okay, but like I either name things by going like doing something dumb like that or I'm like, oh, it's a fishy. And I just add an E to the end. It's, it's bad, it's not great. Let's go up in here and look at this. Okay. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. I have a couple questions about this. Why can't they just swim up? They're fish. They're in water. They're not constrained by gravity. But fine, I'll go over here. Gee, many Christmas. <laughs> Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Or good squid. Of the Santa Clara squids. And these would be Perry and Ape. <gasps> er, uh, apricot. Okay. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers taking your cousin's hogfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. Great, thank you. All right, what's gonna be in here? Ooh, what's this? Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Five, two, six. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Okay. It must taste like paper, I wonder why. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. Wow, so you didn't clean the floor? So the note was like just hanging out all night? Wow, that's that's bad housekeeping. Or Hi, saloon keeping? I'm Freddy, <laughs> and this is my pal Luther. Well, hello! Eight fingered Phil. Dr. Piano Ology at your service. Stella at the counter said she saw some suspicious looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. 
Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Eh, yeah, seems fair. Alright, what's this gonna be? Thank you, Luther. I'm like, I, I've heard this laugh before, and I don't know where it's from, but, oh, that's where it's from! Anyhow, it's kind of like, you know Scooby-Doo, the, uh, the ghost laugh in, like, one of the first episodes of, like, the, uh, the cartoon? Like, I'll put in a clip here. Yeah, that laugh, every time I hear it, I just die laughing, and I... So, I'm gonna be dying laughing while I'm editing this, so that's gonna be fun. Anyhow, so, uh, any others? Yas! Alright, so it's Chase. Yep, this is about what I thought it would be. Uh. That's how I would. <laughs> oh. So what would happen to me if I tried anything like that? Oh. Oh, hey! Oh, tumbleweed. Oh. Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed, tumbleweed. Okay, that's a lot of tumbleweed. Oh, okay, bye town. for Finn Eastwood. And I mean, I started reading really early. You feel guppy? Well, do ya? <whistles> the end. All right then. But no, I started reading really early and like doing a bunch of stuff on the computer when I was like three-ish. So... I mean, I know I'm not exactly typical, 
But yeah, I really like that. It's helpful. Alright, I think that's, yeah, that's all the same. Okay! Cool! 